And the data tells a lot of different stories. Some of us go to work because we really like making money and we like to go up the ladder so we can make more money. Some of us, we like to go to work because we want progressive responsibility. We want to continue earning our keep. We want to prove that we can do bigger and better things and we want someone to promote us. Some of us go to work and stay in the companies that we work for because we just like the learning opportunity. The data says that all of us have these different motivators. But at the end of the day, there's one motivator that every one of us in this room share. Every one of us. Which is that when we go to work every day, we and our teams want to make a difference. And if we dip into our toolboxes and help our organizations with struggles in technology and non-technology and solve the root cause of a lot of problems in the businesses that we serve today, we will certainly feel like we're making a difference. Sometimes companies with great strategy and vision and great execution still fall down with change. One of my last stories I want to share with you that tees up the change management conversation is my experience on my first international business trip. So when I went on my first international business trip ever, I'm talking I was like 23 years old, I went to Munich, Germany. And I stayed at this hotel called the Hotel Splendid and it was on Maximiliana Strassen. And I was uh, definitely young and dumb and I show up to this hotel, and I've got this routine that I um, have had with me since the beginning of my career, where I check into my hotel, and I make sure that everything is clean before I start unpacking my stuff, and I make sure that I've got everything I need in the room. And if I don't, then I make sure that I get that taken care of early on. So I go, and I'm checking out the room, and I'm making sure everything's clean, and I notice that there is not an iron in my room. So I go back to the front desk. And there's a new guy behind the front desk that didn't check me in. And I say to him, hey, um, do you have an iron? And he just looked at me. So I said, hey, uh, do you have an iron? And he just stared at me. Kind of stupid American thing to do, right? Everyone in the world must speak English. So clearly, he wasn't getting my message. So what did I do? I spoke more loudly. <laughs> hey, do you have an iron? That did not help at all. He just looked at me and he still didn't understand what I was saying. So what did I do next? Sort of the indiscernible gestures, touching my clothes. Do you have an iron? So I was pretty sure he didn't know what I was saying because at the end of this whole thing, he opened up a drawer that was like big enough to hold three pencils and he's like, I don't have an iron. <laughs> to me, this story is a really good example of what happens in our organizations around change management. We think that change management, not we in this room necessarily, is just a communication plan. That if we just send a memo out to people and tell them that something's really important, that they will just magically do it. Oh, and it turns out that they don't do that. And so then we go, you know, if we just send the memo out again, but this time it's from our CEO, they're going to really get it, which is the equivalent of just speaking more loudly. But what amazes me about Mangia Bevy is in their bathroom, right above their toilet, it's stenciled in paint on the wall that to activate the automatic flush, you must lower the toilet seat. Well, you guys are slow, seriously? <laughs> to activate the automatic flush, you got to lower the toilet seat. To which I say, that's not an automatic flush. If I had to do something, 
It's not automatic. And I'm going to tell you, if I had to do something, I'd rather crank the handle than t grab the toilet seat. <laughs> but what Mangia Bevy has done is they've tried to make change management about communications and training. And they've decided they're going to train every guest that walks in that restaurant on how to use that toilet, as opposed to calling the plumber back to actually fix the problem, or to say, you know what, that's a faulty design. Give us another automatic toilet, because our guests don't want to lower the toilet seat to activate the automatic flush. Design and good design is a great change enabler. Those types of things can impact the business. Those types of things can change the outcomes. Those things can change how we feel about making a difference. Here's something I know from my career. I know this for a fact. I know that when you get out of bed in the morning, nobody thinks about your career as much as you do. And I think that if opportunity doesn't knock, you got to build a door. And the way you build a door is to find these opportunities to extend this really great toolbox that you have in your hands to solve non-technical problems. It's what being a team player is about. It will help your companies, and it will ultimately help you.